Let's see if it works. Well, it worked a minute ago, so let's start, let's start start from the very beginning. Okay, this is a metal ball here. Who was going to inspect this? You inspect this. Sure. Verify that that is a, in fact a metal ball. Okay. Metal ball. Okay, so I'll plug this in. I like to start by plugging it in. It always helps. <laughs> okay, so what this does um, is there's a motor back here behind here and a, and a computer, microcontroller, um, that controls the position of this. So if I turn this thing on by pushing this button, oh, this knob's way over here. I wonder if that's going to be okay. I guess it is. Okay, so what, what happens now is just by turning this knob, I can control the position of that arm. No big deal, right? That's, that's not really that big a deal. So, but I'm going to put this ball on the track, and the idea of this thing is to try to balance, try to balance the ball on the track, and it's really, really kind of difficult to do manually. Okay. But if I put it in automatic mode, let's see if it works. Now this knob, um, the knob is not working so good. Now this knob actually controls the position of the ball. So if, if I were to disturb the ball from its position, the computer puts it back. Give it a, give it a shove. All right. Ahead. All right. <laughs> give it a shove. Okay. Oh, oh, well, <laughs> not yeah, like I think it's yeah. yeah. Yeah, you won. You can't fix that. <laughs> okay, let's, let's be a little more gentle next time. Okay. There we go. So push it to the right. What does it do? It tilts to the left. Should do demonstrate that. But you'll notice that when it comes back, oh, the thing went to sleep. You have to push this button once a minute, otherwise it goes to sleep. Okay. So push it to the right. You see it tilts to the left. Now push it to the left. You see it tilts to the right. But you'll notice that it flattens out kind of before it comes all the yeah. way back. See, it's flattened out yeah, in anticipation that it's moving back. And the anticipation, the anticipation comes from the derivative term. Are you guys taking calculus? Yeah. Not yet. <laughs> no, but yeah. maybe you've heard the word derivative. Yeah. Okay, if I remove the derivative term in the control law, watch what happens now. When it moves to the left, it, it still does tilt to the right. And when it moves to the right, it does still tilt to the left. But it's, but like, it's not. It, it's not really. Let's take some of the, more of that derivative out of there. How can you take more of it out? What? Oh, now it's just... No, it's an uh, so uh, oscillation. So it's, it's not, not modern infinite, change in uh, oscillation. Well, it's still... See, it moves to the left, it tilts to the right, it moves to the right, it tilts to the left. It's, that's called proportional control. So that in proportion to the error, it is, it is reacting. But it, there's no anticipation of the decreasing error. But if I put the derivative back in, you but see it damps it. How does... How does the derivative help it do that? It monitors the... Well, the sign of the derivative, S-I-G-N, becomes negative when the error is decreasing. So that works in the opposite direction to the error itself. So if the error, let's say, positive is to the right. So you have a positive error, negative feedback will make you tilt to the left. But the derivative works in the opposite direction. So as the error starts to decrease, oh, the, uh, correct. the derivative back kind of eases it back. So without the derivative, you get this oscillatory behavior. So this is like the US Congress. <laughs> right? You move too far to the right, you go to the left. You move too far to the left, you go to the right. <laughs> but there's no anticipation of the direction of decreasing uh, uh, error and moving towards a goal, right? No. It's just go that way, go that way. But with, with the derivative, see, without the derivative, the, the acceleration of the ball is, is going to be related to the tilt angle. The tilt angle is going to be related to the, to the error. So the, you've equated the error to the tilt angle to the acceleration, which is the second derivative of the position. So you've made an equation between the position and the second derivative of the position. So it's like x equals the second derivative of x. Now what function, uh, and there's a minus sign because it's negative feedback. So what function is second derivative is the negative of the function. Can you think of a function whose second derivative is the negative of the original function? If you sign. Uh, sign. And what does the sign look like? Yeah, up and down. 
That's a, uh, that's a oscillation we see, that's why. So that's the oscillation you see. So this is with the proportional control, the motion of the bowl is, got, is governed by that second order differential equation, the second derivative of x equals x. That's, and the solution to that is sine of, sine of x. You just solved a second order differential equation and control <laughs> theory. We might as well just give you a degree right now. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we're done, thank you. <laughs> so how does it sense the error? Good question. How does it sense the air? By the way, it must have gone to sleep here. Yeah. It's just being lucky. That... So, what's your what's your hypothesis? How would you think it senses it senses the air? Right. I'm trying sense? to think of how it would sense the weight that would be yeah. greater on one side or the other, but I don't know. Weight's an idea, but it's not how it works. <laughs> um, potentiometer. I was thinking of the, the potentiometer, yes. That's exactly how it does. But where is the potentiometer? Well, on top? Yeah. There's a, see this red wire? Yes. Yeah. It puts a current through one of these rails. Uh, yeah. So there's an electric current really? that flows through this rail. And so the whole thing is the potentiometer. And it comes out the other side. The second rail is connected to the first rail at the point where the ball is. So there is a oh, voltage, there is a voltage right. drop across across here, That's awesome. and it gets copied to the other rail. And so the position of the ball is I is like a slider. Uh, is is exactly like a, exactly like a slider. So this this rail's voltage gets digitized, which feeds back the yeah. the position. So we'll uh, turn it on again. Maybe it'll work. So if you move that knob, it'll try and balance the ball at a different point. Yeah, but the knob has been acting funny. So that's the balance point there. So theoretically, if I move this knob over a little bit, oh, it'll yeah. change the balance point. But it's kind of <laughs> it's kind of touchy. Oh, that's awesome. Cool. It's kind of touchy. I don't know why. Yeah. So so if I were to put two balls there, well, no. If I were to put a non-conductive uh, ball, nothing would. It would not work. It would not work. But if I put a conducting Oops. and a non-conducting ball. The uh, conducting bowl will boss the other one out of the, out of the way. Huh. Cool. This was uh, this was done by a student a couple years ago. And what is it running on? Or is it? Uh, There's a microcontroller, a microcontroller in the back. Okay. Yeah, like a like an Arduino. Okay, very good. Thank you very so much. So, any other questions? You want to come here now, right? Do this <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Come on.